Hello, so this is the uh, last video in the making the, the badger levels. Um, so, so, so buckle up, strap yourself in for the, the same kind of thing that's been happening all, all the time. So here we go. <laughs> so this is where we left it off. And yeah, getting rid of that dirt, that dirt doesn't serve any purpose there. And we want to make things a little bit interesting when we're going through this area. So let's uh, put a monster in here. So when you go through there, you're going to have to drop the, the monster down. And then what are you going to use to to deal with it? Well, we'll, we'll figure that out later. At the moment, we've got to, something to, to do while we're going through there. Pop a few diamonds down. <laughs> and uh, yeah, don't pick the time capsule. We haven't really been doing anything with time capsules. I mean, my I haven't really been worrying about um, the time limits on any of these levels. I just kind of put it at the max because it's not really a thing. I, I'm not altogether too fond of. Um, you know, time limits in, in levels and that kind of thing. I mean, I have made levels, which uh, you'll probably see sometime in this uh, on my channel coming up, um, that uh, do involve time limits. And, you know, they can be interesting, but, um, yeah, they can kind of be punishing to people who who are just trying to figure things out or, you know, have any... Um, problems with actually playing the game I mean, in the first place. I mean, there's obviously accessibility option, um, things to be considered while, um, you know, using time limits and things like that, which we have to do things quickly and maybe maybe people can't, so maybe people can't enjoy the game and, and other things like that. Or maybe they're just wanting to not have to, to do too much action-y stuff and they want to just have a puzzle to think about or whatever. Yeah, there's there's lots of reasons not to to have the time limit, and I've always kind of well, well often kind of thought, or oh, maybe it's be uh, a good to, instead of having a time limit, having a move limit. But obviously that's not in this game. Um, but then you know, that's possibly something I can put into to cloud traps when I uh, get back to to doing any work on that and. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a, it's a, it's a thought. But yeah, I've just been basically uh, talking about something else while I've been designing this bottom part of this level. But uh, yeah, you probably saw it went through a few iterations to get to where it is at the moment. And um, yeah, we've got... Because uh, we're going to be transported into this area. And we're going to have to wait for the spirit to get down to the cage. So we're going to want something to do when we're in here. So let's put a, a couple of eggs in here. And so we've, we've got to deal with them whilst we're, we're waiting for the spirit to come by. And here, trying to set up some puzzles so you know, go charging straight into here. So there, if you get, get that uh, first diamond in front of the cage, then uh, that's going to be bad for you. If you don't get the other one. And if you do get the other one, but if you push the boulder across, that's going to give you problems again. And here, yeah, you don't want to push that uh, boulder across there. You just kind of want to go the other way around, and then you want to push it across onto that dirt, and so you can get out. So, just some some kind of simple mini puzzles in there. Yeah, and what, what's what's Raptor going to do at the start of this level? We really haven't even. Uh, figured that out yet. Some bits are falling into place but uh, it's still a fairly open empty space is going on here. So Repton has more of a, a starting area to, to start in here now.
And obviously you've got to think a little bit before leaving the starting area because uh, if you're not careful you'll you'll block the way through. So that's generally the idea of the, the puzzles in this area. You've got to be able to get through there but not block your way back through because you're going to need to go back through the, the cage, no, not the cage, the uh, safe there once it's uh, turned into a diamond. <laughs> and Reptile gets moved around again. Let's start you there instead. Uh, no, no, let's move you around again. Reptile's getting fairly uh, tired of this. Move you there, Reptile, instead. I think that's where he, he ends up. Yeah, add a few more boulders. As I said, when in doubt, add more boulders. Also, when in doubt, add more skulls. And so now I've got this little kind of sheltered area here. I kind of need to do something with that. And I can also um, kind of bring in the idea from that, that first area where you start in. You kind of don't want to drop any boulders down that hole, or you don't want to drop too many boulders down that hole. Uh, so I can kind of like tie that into the first area with with that. Talking about the first area, let's add a, a few more boulders, of course. Yeah, I've had an idea of what to do for this this area now. So you're coming through the safe, which you you can't see too well. And yeah, it's just the the vague idea of the the, the middle area there at the moment. But now we're going down this bit behind the uh, safe here. Looks slightly similar to the, that middle area there, I've got stacks of uh, skulls there. Yeah, I'm kind of jumping around all over the, the place here, I've had, you know, having ideas for different areas as I go through. I'm kind of working on multiple areas at the same time. This is like a big, big area of uh, diamonds here. It's kind of like the, the, well, the vault, really. You go through the, the safe door and you get to the, the big vault behind it, but it's still a couple of traps in there, so you have to watch out. And yeah, I want to make this interesting area a little interesting here. Because now if you uh, just let the spirit out first, it's going to you know, drop the boulder down, but uh, the, spirit, the other spirits aren't going to be able to get out of there, so you have to get the, uh, the key first, then clear those safes out of the way. And then you can uh, let the uh, spirit through, so it's adding a bit of the um, flow to level. In this area, what are we doing? Making a pattern out of boulders, of course. It's always a uh, good start to, to something. As I've said before, just make some patterns and then see what, what happens with that. If you look at this at the moment, that's not too difficult to uh, get to the bottom there. And that's kind of my uh, way of thinking about you know, designing puzzles, also about the way I uh, tackle puzzles as well, kind of break it down into a small area, say, what would I do if it was just this? And see you know, how, how I would tackle that area if it was a smaller problem. 
And it's kind of the way you, you deal with um, a lot of different uh, things you don't know how to do, like um, especially in things like uh, mathematics and in coding. You kind of like, okay, I'm not going to do the whole thing at once. If we break it down to something that's slightly easier, what do we do then? And you know, part of uh, puzzle design is just kind of like putting things down, seeing how they end up, and um, trying to figure out if it's possible from the way you set things up. And sometimes it's not possible, and that's, that's it. Kind of adds an extra element to puzzle design because you know most of the, <clears throat> the completed levels that you get, it's like these are possible, you know they've got to be possible otherwise they wouldn't have you know, released the game with this level, I mean there could be a few hiccups here and there with certain games and whatever, but most of the time it's like well they've made this level, this should be possible I should be able to do this um, but when you're making a, a puzzle yourself it's like, this has the potential to not actually be possible which, you know as somebody who likes to solve puzzles, that's kind of an extra interesting dimension to solving puzzles. It's like, well, maybe this isn't actually possible, and it's kind of proving that it's not possible. Um, that's a puzzle in and of itself. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, if you like puzzle solving, try try making your own puzzles and. And if, if something seems impossible, you know, maybe it is, maybe it actually isn't. And there's nobody to give you the solution, because, you know, you're making the puzzle right now. <laughs> I mean, of course, you, you could, like, miss a solution to it, but, um, yeah. You can't know everything. Oh, yeah, and I've moved uh, Repton up to this area, and I've been working on this area while I've been chatting about something else. Uh, but I've moved Reptile just to, to quickly test things if I if I need to. Um, <laughs> yeah, scrap that idea. You can see the general, uh, general idea of this will teleport into that bottom part of this area, come up, watch out for the spirit, break the egg, and um, obviously we've got the spirit behind us, so we kind of want the spirit to go to the cage to drop the rock down so we can actually deal with the monster but you know the monster is going to be loose while we and the spirit run through to that area to set ourselves up for the monster yeah so yeah it's it's, it's an interesting little area there and then most of these areas are actually nearly completed here now just filling out this uh, one area squashed in the middle here it's a very small space, so I'm trying to add some kind of interest to it. And you can see about that area I was just talking about with the the spirit and the monster in it. I mean, at the maximum, it's you know three tiles high. In one space there, it's two tiles high and whatever, but there's still something interesting happening in there, which is always quite nice when you kind of manage to to create something like that, it's like, eh, hey, that's that's ended up really well. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here, I'm just kind of putting safes and then skulls down, and it's like, what am, what am I trying to do here? Just getting rid of everything now. But yeah, it's obviously trying to figure out something to go in this area. And we're getting closer to an actual interesting setup here. But then these two two bits are kind of too close together. Because they kind of look interesting um, separately. But yeah, they're, they're kind of are going to have to move apart a bit. So I'm just moving this, this across.
There we go. So once I've actually set up the things properly, put a diamond underneath here. Now I go through that one part. It's not really a puzzle, you just go underneath there and it drops down and it reveals the, the diamond which you can pick up. And then there's the other part which is kind of a little bit of a puzzle, but there's not much to it. I mean, I don't think you can actually... I mean, you, you can block yourself off, but if you're being sensible, it's fairly easy to get through. And yeah, we've moved Reptron back down to the bottom now because we finished testing that part. Obviously it didn't show all the testing I did. But I did some obviously off camera. Now we're going to work on this middle area to make it a little bit more interesting. Now we're just changing the dirt. We're just changing the dirt. I think this the middle area is, is quite uh, interesting as it is. You have to be careful not to uh, push the boulders in the way or anything like that. Yeah, I'm just finishing this off with the uh, changing a bit of the dirt so it's not all samey. And add a little bit more as well. Yeah, there we go. Oop, something else to, to work on here now. Yeah, let's replace that um, boulder with a skull, because I couldn't quite figure out how to uh, <laughs> complete off the level, and, and the skull is quite happy. There's another skull on the level, mm -hmm. and that's the way it ended, by putting a skull down, so our skull friend is happy. Okay, so that's... Uh, how I made all the the badger levels. I hope you enjoyed the series, and um, I'll see you next time. I'll probably do some more of the the same kind of thing, um, maybe with a little bit of a difference. Um, but uh, yeah, so whatever. I'll there'll be there'll be more videos, and I'll see you next time.